Hello, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. I was going over some of the uh, old posts that I've done over the uh, past couple of years, and and I can't believe it's been two years already. But I I was looking at um, the standard parts library for Fusion 360. I did that. Um, I think it was. May or June of 2017 and I guess I was already I was hoping by this time that maybe the fusion team would have put some content available for us other than McMaster car but uh, hasn't happened yet so um, there's a few things I wanted to go over that I probably did not uh, address in that presentation so um, let's uh, let's take a look and um, Right here is my fusion parts. Um, if you go over the video, I'll put a link to the video uh, down below. If you want to go over, I talk about um, a lot of things in that video. If you want to go back and look at that one first, um, and then follow up with this one. But let's just say I have, you know, I have my structural library here. So I have some uh, tubes and wide flanges, whatnot. And what I did in this, uh, in this project I have a um, an assembly a, a file started already so I'm just going to insert a part all right and I, I talked about this I'm going to quickly kind of review a little bit of what I did in the last one so I'm going to insert this part into this design all right and there it is so and then like any part I can you know I can translate this move it around rotate it things like that and uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm gonna say okay so here's my part now one of the things I discussed uh, in my previous video is you know this is just your library part it's right here if I make changes to this it's going to change the part in the library so in order to make this a standalone part a separate part uh, you're gonna see I got this little icon next to it I have to <laughs> break that link so I'm just going to right click on that part and say break link. Now I have a uh, unique part. So this part is uh, standalone. I can just go to uh, press pull. All right, and let me select this face. Now all my parts, the, these, this group of parts is uh, starts at 12 inches. All right, so if I add, um, you know, four inches to it, so. You know, the, the total is going to come up to 16 inches so you know as long as I know what I'm starting with I can generate a part uh, to whatever length I want I can go back to my uh, press pull and if I want I can always push that back and move it back to wherever I want all right so uh, and that's one of it now and I can continue to do this. I can place other parts. I can put holes in it. Uh, they'll be unique parts, but I do have to uh, make sure I break that link. One of the things I wanted to talk about, and I didn't discuss, you always, if you're creating an assembly, you may need something other than McMaster car, and you're going to want to add that. So what I did is uh, I'm going to go back to my work area and uh, let's see here's my work area and I have this part all right and this part belongs to this project and uh, here it is all right so if I if I want to use something here just say I want to I want to use a, an angle I want to mount this to an angle well, I can certainly insert an angle from a different project but um, I'm going to show you what the difference is now like we did here adding a part within a project it's going to stay linked but if I want to if I'm in this project and I want to insert a part so I'm going to go back I'm going to go to my my parts library I'm going to go to my structural and I'm going to choose uh, an angle let me get a maybe like a four by four yeah let's just try four by four by quarter and I'm going to insert that into my current design now we're going to get a message here and it says designs inserted from another project will not be linked and that's really crucial or it's a critical point all right and I'm just I can always check that off because I understand how it works but I'm just gonna say okay 
and I'll get my part I'm going to translate it to whatever way I want it all right and that's probably pretty good right there I'm gonna say okay but what happened here it's not it's not linked and exactly what it said it, it's now I I start off with a unique part so I can go uh, move forward here I can press pull um, I can do uh, different things to this all right and I'll just say I'm gonna make it you know two inches longer I'll say okay and this library I happen to have set at 12 inches also so this one's gonna be 14 so I can go through now and start putting holes, uh, do whatever I want with this part, and it is now a member of this assembly. It's no longer connected or related back to my parts library. So that's the big key difference. If you're putting it in an assembly in your current project, that's it's going to stay linked. But if you're pulling it from a, a project of a different library, it's going to automatically... Um, come in as a standalone part and that's a that's a big difference so uh, that's one of the big topics I wanted to discuss with you now the other topic was um, I thought maybe uh, I'm gonna start making I'm gonna make this content the structural and the pipes I'm gonna make that available to you so what's gonna happen down in the in the uh, comments below I'm going to have a couple links so I'm going to put one for my structural content and the pipe elbows. All right, and I think this is so it's going to be available for download. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me. I'm going to click on this link, and I wanted to show you how to do this for the fact it's not as great. And this is going to be with my A360 drive. So here's a, a zip file structural, and it really does it doesn't give you a lot of information here but if you look in the upper right hand corner there's this little icon and you just click on that and it will download the entire zip file all right so you can do that to both files the the pipe elbows and just to give you a heads up the pipe elbows kind of look um, again they're just going to be uh, short radius and long radius uh, elbows uh, up to 16 inches I think alright so you can download that content if you like um, see if it's of uh, help now when you do this um, you do not need um, you do not need inventor they're gonna come down as IPTs uh, that's just the way it is uh, the only way I could download it so you download as IPTs what I what you need to do is ex, uh, extract that to two separate folders all right one for structural one for pipe or if you only want the structural that's fine then you go into your fusion data panel and you're gonna create a new project just like I did here all right so I just named mine my fusion parts library and inside of that I made two folders or make a folder for whichever content you want so in my case I made one for structural open that folder and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload those files so I'm just going to um, I have some content in here that let me go uh, to my location and I have uh, where are they there we go so I have some here. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get this whole thing, and there, and notice they're IPTs. It's not a problem. So you can just upload this. It's going to automatically convert it to FD3 files, Fusion files. So either choose all of them at once, or in my case, I'm just going to add the channels. All right. So I'll just choose the first one. Hold the Shift key, select the second, and I'm going to say open. And you're going to see right here, it's going to list all that you have. And you can take out ones that you don't want. It's your choice. But I'm just going to say upload all. And what it's going to do is going to start uploading them. And it's going to put them into the folder that you just specified. It's going to may take a little while. It goes pretty quick. So it's going to take a minute or two. But then that uh, content is available. So... Um, what I'd like you to do is make a comment down below. Is this something that you find of a value? Is it any good to you? 
Um, I like to try to understand how many people download this content and if it's uh, useful um, for you. I mean, I, we always do projects that may contain some kind of geometry that, um, you know, it's not available in my master car or just may take us too long to create. So even though angles are easy and maybe wide flanges, but to get them to the right specifications, sometimes it takes uh, a little bit um, too long. Um, so this is one process. If you have another process, I'd really love to hear about it. Uh, so make a comment down below. Maybe explain to me what process you use to bring in other content or uh, store in a fashion that you can reuse it over and over again. All right. So um, thank you very much for uh, listening. Uh, this is going to keep loading for a little while, so uh, I'm just going to let it run. Um, Again, thank you very much. Uh, thumbs up if you uh, like what you see here. Thumbs down or give me a comment what you, uh, what you think about this. And um, I'd appreciate hearing from you. All right. Again, this is uh, Dave Brenner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, have yourself a great day.